What's up, it's Rob from FLX Bike, and today we're going to adjust the belt tension on a belt drive electric bicycle. Specifically, this one is the carbon gauge belt drive on a FLX Babymaker 2 electric bike. If you've got a different bike with a Gates belt drive, this will probably still be useful. If it's a different belt drive system altogether, this might help, but the instructions may differ slightly. So let's get right into it. So you're gonna need a few tools for this. One is a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch socket or crescent wrench. Either one will work. I've got a socket today. A four millimeter Allen wrench. And then to check the belt tension, you can do it by feel or you can be more professional and use a Gates Cricket gauge. We call it a Cricket gauge. Or the Gates belt drive tuning app on your cell phone. Before we go adjusting this belt, we need to figure out which direction we're going to go. Are we going to make it tighter or looser? You want the belt to be tight enough so that it won't slip when you're really pushing on the pedals or when you're going up a steep hill, but also loose enough so that it won't cause extra resistance on the pedals. So if you look at the pedals here, when I pedal the bike, and you can really notice it when you go backwards, this is adjusted pretty well, but maybe just a hair too tight. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna loosen this one up just a tad. And you can feel here, the belt has some pretty good tension, not a crazy amount. We're gonna loosen this up a little bit. If yours is too loose, you're gonna tighten it. So the first thing we need to do is loosen this back axle nut. It doesn't matter if you're tightening the belt or loosening it. We'll need to loosen that axle nut so that the wheel can move freely, okay? There it goes. That's one, and we'll do the other side as well. It's exactly the same procedure. Now, this wheel can move freely, and what's keeping the tension here are these two screws, which are called belt tension screws, belt tensioners and they're pushing force up against this axle and pushing it backwards. When we loosen these screws, the belt can pull the axle in and the whole wheel in further and loosen the belt. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna try a quarter turn, maybe a half turn looser on this, which will allow some room to loosen up that belt. So we'll try a quarter turn to start. Okay, I'm loosening both of these screws by one quarter turn. Now, what that did is it created space for this axle to come in. And because the bike was adjusted previously, the wheel was already in line, we wanna check that too when we're adjusting this. Make sure the wheel doesn't go out of alignment. If I'm looking down the bike, it's completely straight. It's lined up with both the seat stays here and the chain stays here. If you adjust one side too much and the other not enough, this wheel can go crooked. So make sure you're checking that as you go, okay? Now look at my belt tension. It looks like we have maybe a little bit more space here. And when I rotate the pedals, they're a little bit easier to rotate, okay? I'm gonna go just a little bit looser. So let's go another quarter turn on each one. And we'll be able to verify this tension that it's not too loose at the end of this, okay? So quarter turn to the left on both of these. Okay. The wheel is still aligned properly the belt is visibly looser and it is slightly easier to pedal, okay? So let's lock that in for now. We're gonna flip our socket the other direction, tighten these axle nuts. You want a decent amount of tension on them so they don't go loose, especially when you're climbing up a hill Now, 
You can use your hand to check the belt tension, but unless you really uh, are familiar with how it should feel, you might want to use a gauge. So at the factory, when these are assembled, we use what's called a cricket gauge. And how this works is you place, place this cricket gauge on here until it clicks and it will show you what tension the belt is at. So right now it's showing me that it's at like 20 pounds of tension. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. I'll rotate this around. Let's see where that's at. Again, it's around 25 pounds of tension, okay? So that's how loose this belt is. At the factory, we'll typically adjust them to between 25 and 35 pounds. Okay, that's the Cricut gauge. Now I'm also gonna look at the Cricut app just to show you how that works. But it recommends for a single speed urban bike, it recommends between 35 and 45 pounds of tension. So according to Gates, this is actually a little bit loose and you might want to tighten that up until you hit 35 pounds. Or you can go by feel with the bike. This one, we said it felt a little bit tight, so we loosen it up. As long as the belt's not skipping, great, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, if you don't have the Cricut gauge, is you can use the Gates Carbon Drive app. And what this does is it measures the frequency of the belt, and it tells you for a single speed urban, it should be between 45 and 60 hertz when you pluck the belt. So we just do that. We're plucking the belt and it will tell you 28 hertz. 83. It will give you an average. So we'll do that like five times. 40 hertz. 84. 86. 84. 28. It's saying the average is 42 hertz, which is just under what they're saying it should be. They said 45 to 60 hertz. We're at an average of 42 hertz. It's changing now because I'm talking. But um, so this belt technically is a little bit loose. If we want it to fall in that range, we'll tighten it back a bit. But because we thought this one was too tight, we're going to ride this one around and see how it goes because maybe we do want it a little bit looser. But it's up to you. We do recommend being in that range. If you feel like you want to experiment with something looser, you can do that. You will have less resistance on the pedals, but if you're really heavy and you're going up a steep hill, it's possible to slip that belt if the belt is too loose. So that's how you adjust the belt on your Baby Maker or Baby Maker 2 electric bike. Of course, after you do adjust it, you want to make sure that everything is tightened up, safe, that your tools are put in a good spot and take it out for a ride. Make sure everything is working properly before you go nuts. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like it, comment it. If you have a better way of doing it, we'd love to hear from you. And we're excited to see you in the next video.